it. I, yeah. Okay, I don't want to talk about it right now, though. <laughs> talk about it later. Wow. Eric might make it more believable. Check it on the microphone. Check, 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 check. We're good now? Check it, check. You got the theme? Oh, here's the word. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tell me, Jimmy, I tell him, Jimmy, who, yeah. He may think that his bike is so much better than mine, but he would change his mind if he took mine for a ride. Bicycle, bicycle, I love you. I tell you. Okay. If we could be credited. There you go. Hello out there. How do you do, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls? All of Acadiana land. Including animals. Y'all are allowed to watch. And All the plants. little animals. Plants will watch in fast motion. Yeah, really? They do? Oh, dude, that's the only way because they're so slow. Mm, that's true. Um, Relative to us. My name's Jacob. And I'm Paul. And, and we're... Boring! And full of... Shit. <laughs> no! Okay, we're not saying that today. No, that's a... Uh... <laughs> Uh, so anyway, <laughs> we have. We can uh, say. Uh, uh, oh, I'm not coming. It's after five. If somebody wants to open the door for my friend, they can. Don't rush. He should have got here earlier. True. Uh, we have a stellar show planned today. Of course. Do we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we got Jim Noble here. He's gonna Jim play. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> He's gonna play some. Uh, hey, we got some studio audience here. Uh, after yeah! they're going. Yeah! To if you don't call in, they will. So the number will appear <laughs> briefly on your screen. Warn you about that. Uh, on your screen, briefly, or briefly on your screen, both. If if you're not watching us, we're on uh, uh, Cox Channel 16 or LUS 4. So turn it on. Yeah, we're on Cox. <laughs> and Cox sucks. I can say wow. that. Their their sound. Yeah, their sound it sucks. Their sounds. Like God. <laughs> but um. That's a, I can state facts, right? You and can, opinions. You, you can state facts. That's one of each of those. Um, so, yeah, we're coming to you live from downtown Lafayette for the next 54-odd minutes. And you can call in and uh, say stuff. Verbalize your... Oh, can you put a graphic up of the number? Thank you. No, don't do it. <laughs> I'm going to say the number in the form of a riddle. Oh, Mountains high and valleys dark. Neath the tree and on the bark. Oh, it's up on your screen now. Okay, so far I've got three, three, seven. Three, three, seven. Yeah, okay. Uh, monkeys howl and baboons three, yelp. Six. Uh, six. Uh, for the floor, we need some help. Eight, nine, five. Uh, five, one. <laughs> okay. All right, well, <clears throat> to start the show off... Um, I want to say that uh, we're sad to announce that uh, two two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, well, about a week and three quarters ago, Claudia's mom passed away of Alzheimer's. And um, we had been planning for a long time to, we're going to start off with the bike of the week is what we're going to do. Yes. Uh, and, and I, I have oh, wait, you need the pictures? 
Yeah, I'm gonna hand we're going to start off with the bike of the week because of this uh, this event that I really want to get uh, get talked about and give you time to soak it in. Um, the bike is going to be a tribute to her as well as uh, a reminder of the terrible disease of Alzheimer's. And we're also going to be doing a, uh, a, a uh, fundraiser in, on June 21st. It's called The Longest Day. And that is uh, to promote Alzheimer's awareness and also to uh, benefit the Alzheimer's Association. So you'll be going to uh, alz.org and you can go to the longest day uh, event on their page. And then you can either sign up to be on Claudia's uh, uh, team, which is right here. Amy's Angels. Is Cola? Huh? A Cola? Uh, or did you put? Yeah, it's a colon. Okay, Amy's Angels colon biking for brains. And that is um, going to be on June 21st. Their event is called The Longest Day. You can either join Claudia's team, which is going to, going to be us riding bicycles for the entire day. Well, not the entire day, sunrise to sunset. And the reason it's done on the longest day of the year is because that, uh, that is to, uh, to uh, signify what it feels like every day for an Alzheimer's patient, that every day is mm. that long. It just, it's just yeah. a never-ending battle. And, uh, or for the team. Mm-hmm. That too. No yeah, for the caretakers as well. And the uh, the event, you don't necessarily have to join Claudia's team, which I am and, and anyone else can, can be a part of, um, but you could do anything. You could play cards for all the day. Uh, any, any, excuse me, anything you want to do uh, throughout that, that uh, time period from sunrise to sunset is available to you. you, you it's your choice what activity you want to perform. Hmm. So go to alz.org. It's a, a small fee for uh, entry, mm -hmm. and then you have to raise a certain amount. We'll, we'll go into that as it gets closer. But this is uh, June 21st, and I'll show you the bike in just a sec. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Hello, caller. Hey, guys. Mm. I just had to call in to offer my support. Uh, always have to get a dose of OTW. It's a good way to start the week. Oh. <laughs> I said last time I called in, y'all were going to make it big one day. Always watch, but usually never call in, never know what to say. Uh, last time I called, y'all said, Jacob, you said my last name was Hollier. I can't believe that. I know you're from Louisiana. Hollier, did I say that? You see, I, I've yes, since been, I've you since been inoculated. <laughs> but anyway, look, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm a big fan. Hope you all have a good week and a good show, okay? Hey, thanks a million for calling, man. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yes. All right. Go take care. Okay, you too. You too. Bye-bye. Um, that is bad. If I said Hollier. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Miss you, Hollier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so th that uh, June 21st is the summer solstice, longest day of the year. Um, and then there will be a ceremony after uh, each team, I guess, has their own. You can do what you want, right? Yeah. Whatever your own team wants to do. If you played cards all day, mm -hmm. have a little ceremony at the end of the day to talk about what you did throughout the day. Um, and then uh, it's uh, about raising awareness. So that's why we want to get as many people involved as we possibly can. And uh, so if you want to get on their ALZ.org ALZ and uh, join up on our team, Claudia's team, I'm on it. And uh, we're going to uh, try to get you know, as many people as we can. Oh, the cool thing about it is, we yeah. We, the cool thing about uh, it is, we what? don't have to ride the bike from sunrise to sunset. We can get a team and say, you and I go take off and ride to Gerard Park for an hour. We come back, we hand off the the, the torch, so to speak, Whoa. to two other people while we do something with the rest of the group, and those two people go out and ride something. Huh. So you know, you just keep moving all day, and and it, no matter what the activity is, it just has to be done. And in fact, it could be done by someone in California. If you have a relative that wants to ride for an hour out of the day, you what? you know that in that hour, hey, this is the hour that blank is going to ride in in California. Whoa. And when their hour is up, then someone else takes off. So kind of a neat idea. No, nothing like I've ever heard yeah, of. Yeah, man. Um, so like planet sourcing it. Please do, uh, yeah. Please do join up and, uh, and and check it out. We want to raise awareness about this and. Our condolences to uh, Claudia's uh, for you know her mom passing a couple weeks ago. 
Oh, and now the bike. The bike in. Oh yeah. Okay, we have the picture. This is something uh, Claudia had. We have a few had, pictures, uh, actually. Actually, you, you know how some people you say I oh, dream this up. No, she actually had a dream about this bicycle. What? And uh, so uh, told me about it, and we are going to. You have the bike pictures, booze? Yeah. Okay. This is a, a 1939 Elgin, um, which was bought at Sears. That was it was a Sears bike back in the I day. Didn't buy it. No, she was. <laughs> Claudia was not around in 1939 to purchase the bike, uh, or at least not, at least not in this, at least not in this life. It it could be her. Yeah, her, true her that. Bike reincarnated. Um, Whoa, the bike came back to you. But uh, it's like uh, Cloud we're, Atlas. We're going to uh, not quote unquote restore it. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is she wants it uh, done in purple to represent uh, the Al color of uh, Alzheimer's Association, and. Um, it's going to be uh, cream. Where you see all the dark brown is going to be cream, dark cream accents. Ooh, uh, the wheels are going to be uh, cream with uh, purple uh, pinstriping. That's like the first exercise bike. It has the little tripod. Yeah. <laughs> it comes with its own its trainer. <laughs> uh, very heavy bike. Very, Dude, uh, yeah. very heavy to ride but uh beautiful still very well well made well designed american old american bike and we're gonna uh bring some progress pics as we as we go along with the build uh the seat is gonna stay original so uh, uh, do you do we have the uh the tattoo also we have uh oh wait no a different one <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait put the other one up later what was that yeah babe, that's gonna be a background i think oh, okay uh <laughs> So that, we have two different tattoos. This, we're last Sunday, at this very time, we were at the studio. Um, Stephen, yeah, uh, one-time producer, and, yeah. and her brother, and Claudia's brother, uh, were were there getting matching, similar yeah, matching yeah, yeah. tattoos. And uh, so that's Claudia's right there. That was uh, that's her tribute to her mom, Amy. Oh, Amy. <laughs> it wasn't so bad then. That was a few days ago. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, that's how long do you have to wait before you shave? I kind of don't. I kind of think it's crazy that you that it doesn't like influence the hair or something when you get a tattoo on no, your hair. No, it doesn't. It just that's sweet. You heard about the dude, the dude that came up with like a cream that he says can get out permanent tattoo? Damn it! I don't believe him. Our lovely audience here. <laughs> so, Carry on the bacchanal. <laughs> you know, Mardi Gras was like six days ago, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you still feeling it? Dude, I had, I had a Mardi Gras. Yeah, yeah, that's I right. I went to that one in Savoie next to Eunice, mm -hmm. and it was fun. Did we ever find out where Tony went? I can't remember the name of the town he went to. I'm trying to think if I saw him, but I don't think I did I, see him. I don't think there. it was Savoie. That, uh, I, I know where that is. Well, tell us something else, Paul, because I'm playing these magic cards, I guess. Well, we had a, we had a pretty Who's good Mardi Gras. Is there Gras? any other nerds in the crowd? Are we gonna play that against each other? We or? could, dude. I got a couple of decks here. Um, we uh, we we did we didn't do much for Mardi Gras. In fact, uh, did you send? We didn't the, do much. No, no, Mardi Gras itself. <laughs> Mardi Gras is that something? No, Mardi Gras. It's for Mar we didn't do many parades. Is what we didn't do. We went to one Saturday night, and uh, but otherwise on Mardi Gras day, what we did was we set up this fabulous tent that there's a picture of. T i n t <laughs> tent tentus. Uh, Go into the uh, input setup. I have a. Uh, uh, there it is. I have what? this uh, uh, what? Army Command Post tent. <laughs> and so that's what we did all day Mardi Gras day was set that thing up, light a fire. And, you uh, would be Rick if this was The Walking Dead, Paul. I have You'd be the no sheriff. Idea. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay, you say The Walking Dead? I uh, know. Let's not talk about it because. Um, oh, we can say it, but I'm not caught up at all on like, the latest season. Oh, you didn't mean for like legal purposes. <laughs> oh no, hell no. <laughs> so the uh, the the tent is uh, like ten by twenty, and it's really uh, really cool. I took a nap in it yesterday. Left it really. <laughs> Go ahead, Kali. You live. Hey, here comes Mike. Mike, what's up? How's it going? I don't know. All if right. Have, I don't know if we have any trivia uh, for you today, but you should give us a trivia question. Wait up! I wrote my grandmother a long time ago. She had Alzheimer's. Oh That's no, kidding. Tonight. That's what I'm buying tonight. I want to share something with y'all guys. Yes, okay. please. No, and now on the phone is personal. I wrote oh. to my grandmother. Okay. Oh, got That's you. That's like Alzheimer's in Idaho. That's my mama's mother. Okay. 
but I wrote something a long time ago. I want you guys to take a look at it tonight. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to email it or something, or do you want I to no call computer. in after? You can call in it right after the show if you'd like. No, you guys come over here. You guys take a look at it because it's hard for me to explain. Oh, okay, I got it, you. It, it, it ripped me out a lot. All right, well, we, well, we'd love to check it out. Yeah, Let's definitely. But, you know, you run into me, you're going to say, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Because I did, like, uh, emphysemia and cancer already. Uh-huh. Golly. Yeah. It ripped me apart. Man. Yeah, uh, uh, Alzheimer's is a, a terrible disease. Uh, what was it? Yeah. How many people did you say? 40 million? 55 million. 55 Lord, million what, worldwide? worldwide right now. My hey. mama showed signs of it. My dad has dementia. Dang. Yeah, really, yeah. really terrible. Yeah. But she passed away like three days after we got back home a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Mm. I just felt it, and when I wrote this out, it killed the stigma by 10%, so I put healing time in the place of that part. Mm-hmm. Knowing that, you know, that a place is knowing that um, I did something for my mom. For us as family. I'm sure that so can give be... Me call, give me a call afterwards and I'll show you what I'm talking about. You got it. We will, man. We'll, right. we'll give you a call. Because go on over and visit. There? Yeah? Come on over and visit. I'll let you guys meet in person. Okay. Sounds good. We'll, we'll give you a call after out. the show, Mike. All right. Later. Okay, Have buddy. Yeah, what, what we need to do is raise awareness and make it like on the tip of everyone's tongue yeah. what cancer is and everything else. No I mean, kidding. To, to, to basically know early uh, early signs and not to be uh, ashamed or embarrassed to make do do something about it mm. early on. You know. Yeah. Um, start uh, whether that be making preparations or or being uh, more uh, proactive with. Uh, exercise that's person, that's you know, a great like, point uh, yeah so. uh, to find ways to exercise your brain you know that you uh, especially that you know you have done and that you know you yeah yeah you know and, and things that you uh, enjoy anyway there's all kinds of you know there's a whole spectrum of different games and puzzles and stuff that uh, you know uh, video games even yeah but uh, there's, there's also stuff you can uh, exercise on, online yeah exactly websites yeah or, or get a Rubik's Cube and don't never be able to solve it like me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I solved mine. I took the thing. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I'm going to solve you. That's, that's how Alexander solved the Gordian Knot. He was like, <laughs> any never, questions? Yeah, I could never get more than like three sides of that damn thing. Oh, uh, no, well, you, that's because you don't want to do sides. What you got to do is build layers. So you got... Layers. You get the bottom, whatever color, yellow, and then you want to get all four sides, the first three, and then the second three, and... Then the top. Let's take the, I've never from gotten it. Who past. just says he never got? I, I, I have one at home that is that far, and I don't. I also don't look up the tricks, like because they have tricks to solve it. It's ridiculous. one day I'm gonna solve it. I'll be drunk as a skunk, probably. <laughs> I won't know how I did it. Take a picture. Send me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there is uh, more and more uh, research coming in where people that have uh, rather facilities that uh, have a lot of folks suffering from Alzheimer's, rather than trying to remind them of reality they have nurses and loved ones and stuff that are uh, instead playing fantasy basically you know uh, har trying to be as harmless but also playing into whatever it is that they're that, that the person the, the patient believes and just kind of you know role play with them mm -hmm. and, and I, I don't know it's, it seems it's it's a, a newer treatment if you want to call it but it, it seems like uh, it might there might be some interesting fruit uh, bared from that. Boar? Whatever. Let's born? Uh, born. No, nah, I don't know. Raised. What do you... You, you raise livestock and you bear Produced. children. Produced. <laughs> Speaking of produce, why don't we have Jim Nobles produce us some music? Oh, my God. Thank you, Paul. And thank you, Jim Nobles. Produce. I'm going to jump up. Get him some back.
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, almost 20 people here. Let me hear you. All right, so I'm drinking. Are y'all drinking? I mean, because I couldn't be at Hefe's Saloon right now. I'm here playing for the masses. Everybody's tuning in on AOC, Inc.org, all that stuff. So are y'all ready? Ready? All right, so we're doing the PG version of the Jim Noble Show. Are y'all ready? Come on, no, I said, are you ready? You let me violate you. you with the animals. I want to feel you from the inside. I want to love you with the animals. My whole existence is flawed. You get me closer to God. You can't have my isolation. And you can't have the hate that it brings. You can't have my absence of faith. You can have my everything Help me, I've torn apart my reason Help me, your sex I can smell Help me, you make me perfect Help me think I'm somebody else I want to love you with an animal I want to feel you on the inside I want to love you with an animal My whole existence is flawed Get me closer to God. still alive? I mean, come on, you got to keep it going because Jake and Paul are going to be right back up with all that energy. They're going to be with the, all that energy right after me. I mean, I'm still on camera. <laughs> Not anymore. Yes, I like that. Because <laughs> all the animals need love, you know? They do, yeah. And, you know, it's all inclusive. Oh, so, we, uh, oh, look at this. What's this, a random object? Hey, you have that, uh, hey, everybody, come, look, come, come get, get this and take a picture of Oh, like, man, I'm not into this whole, you know what, I tagged look. the photo on Instagram, vanity photo. There's like two other ones. I should probably have a photo. People don't even realize how vain it is. What? It's not about vanity. It is yeah. ultra about vanity, you no, guys. Yes. Yes. It's not, yes. It's not about vanity. It's about vantage point. Vantage. God dang it. That's pretty good. That's How can you get all your friends? That's what they... Oh, my, I should sell that to the selfie stick people. It's not about vanity. I guess I already vantage. have an Instagram, so that's ultra vain. What about the MySpace angles? That's what that means. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it does make an M if you do it. Well, so what, are we doing this thing? I don't know. She had this her phone that hooks up to it. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, so all right, go ahead and hook yours I'm up. I'm into it. We're all going to the same purgatory. You're disconnected, right? Uh, no. Oh, my God! Jeez, a piece. What happened? Look at this. You can already see. I'm... Whoa! It's a... Oh, my God! <laughs> I have no earthly... I know exactly what that is. Oh, God. Is it a dick ring? No. Oh, no. What it's way doing? better than that. That's, oh, it's a, I, was, I was waiting for it to stop, but it's a gift. It'll just keep going forever. Like we, we could just be mesmerized for the rest of the show. <laughs> like that Neil deGrasse Tyson. Have y'all seen at the Science Museum, they have Neil deGrasse Tyson's like face 
painted in pencil like on the side and it looks mesmerizing. So that's not Steve Harvey. Oh my god. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no one is watching. I'm kidding. So is that gonna keep going that's even when I tab about. out of the text? That just happens now forever. <laughs> Y'all somebody's cat's missing. Maybe they can text me a picture. Oh, oh, where are we gonna yeah, show that oh, picture. Or I can just describe it. Okay, they <laughs> keep your eyes peeled. What? Oh. Selfie stick. Oh, that's at the t that's at the t uh, tattoo right. shop. That's. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do it. Because that's at the I'm studio. Um, when they were getting the uh, aforementioned tattoo, the um, with the selfie stick. The yeah, the selfie the, stick. That's what I was getting at. The selfie stick is. We took some really cool pictures at uh, Mardi Gras with it. Um, how do you how do you make it go? It's it's USB. You have to link to it USB. Oh, I'm not even plugging anything into my phone. No, you don't have to plug it in. When you turn your USB on, it's going to say uh, uh, innovation. Innovation. Yeah. I ain't doing it. Okay. I know I'm no fun. That's my whole angle. <laughs> <laughs> you you make the show. A big black cat. Oh, they're watching. A big black cat. You guys. Uh, oh, a boy cat. <laughs> um, a boy, boy cat. I'm going to say yes to boy cat. Yeah. So a, a large boy cat in the... A big boy cat, right? Whoa, that's freaky. Oh, I like this. Oh, it's on fire. Oh, this is... Dude, that's art all of a sudden. We're a part of it. Um, Give me a the, screenshot. Our director that. deserves an Oscar tonight at the award ceremony. Yes, he does. Or what's the Emmys? Oscars. Yeah, but we're TV. Oh, yeah. But this is kind of movie style TV. Oh, yeah. well, we've, we've been charred. Oh, it's like a magic card he cast on me. We got charred. A sorcery. Oh, it's a girl, and her name is Olive. What area? That's what I was going to Um, I think it's, uh, okay, you know where, like, the uh, Campus Edge and Campus Crossing by Drug Emporium? By okay. Drug Emporium. Oh, it's Dang it, Drug Emporium closes early tonight. Near Drug... No! Her name's Olive, and she's a big black cat, you guys. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled, and... This is cool. Let us know... Not the cat being no, missing. We're going to find the cat. Man. Who would they let know? I mean, how... We, we should get the bike gang on it. Well, no, no, who... If someone sees the cat, who do they... How do we they contact the owner? Um, do they want to give their contact number? me? Contact Jacob. Uh, but I'm not giving you. My that's number. what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, if the owner wants Facebook, to, Facebook me. Uh, okay, that's. I don't check Facebook. And that and a, a viewer might not have that. I'll Facebook. See, Abby. See if that I don't know if I want to tell you who that is. You, either. Your inf her information or their information. No, oh, it's by C. T. Art. Oh well, let's go after the show. Okay. We gotta call Mike too. So a black uh, girl cat named Olive is out and about, and her owner or uh, you don't own the cat really. They kind of just are around yeah. you. The, their people are looking for it for it. Oh. So uh, we gotta go find Abby. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Oh my God! Look at this picture. T okay, it's Abby. You can contact her. Okay. Okay. It's, uh, if you see this adorable black cat, oh, I didn't realize she lived so close. Can to you zoom? Day. Claudia? We could go maybe, can I could maybe email this. Can you zoom in? Oh, it's... I'm going to go put it close to the... Oh, we got a phone call. Hey, Claudia, you're live. Hey! Hey, hey how's it going? Oh, it's Flywheel. Hey! What's up? I got... Jacob, I got a question for you. Okay. <laughs> He's listening. This... Do you have any what? great poupon? Oh, I do have some great poupon. You need some? Oh, well, you see, I saw you did them pants that you wear, and I heard of people that put a little mustard stain, but you just put your mustard all over them pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how they get the, it's turmeric. They're, they're, they're <laughs> yeah, he bit, he, what I, he soaked them in mustard. Them pants are so loud, I can't hear y'all having the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, when he walk, well, those aren't the corduroy ones, are they? No, those yeah. are, those are different ones, but yeah, the color is quite uh, vibrant. Thank you, both. Well, look, he, I mean, it, it takes the attention out of that little feather poking out of Paul's hat. <laughs> oh! He yeah. calls that macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> and technically, it's not my hat. I borrowed this hat from Claudia. Wait, that doesn't oh, make so any you're wearing a woman's hat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I knew he would say that. Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, yes. you can Facebook Abby Dagger if you see that cat and let, tell her and catch... Her, the cat's name's Olive and she's super cute and black and a girl. So yeah, there okay, we go. I hope that cat ain't running around Abbeville. Ah, uh, no, not Abbeville. It's right by oh, CK no, Day's Art. Look, look, we, we all, we all get pretty hungry forward. around here, and you know, sometimes them strays disappear. I uh, wonder, this cat's probably super savvy. Probably so, and yeah. probably going to return home. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what we thought about yours. Oh. Yeah. So, hey, how'd the show go? And and you at home, call in. How's the show going? Yeah. It's going. Oh, it's, me? It's going. Yeah, yeah you. I'm you. happy to show me. Hey, Flywheel, how's the show going? You. Oh, the show is going good, man. I like it. I like watching y'all sip y'all little coffee and, and act like some thirds. Oh, man, my coffee is cold. We need to get Jim back, but I think they're... You, uh... Just, so we got one one little issue, you know, that little fuck Stone Cold here. I mean, he ain't called back for nothing. Whoa, that, that is true. That. that is a good point. Did Stone Cold hear that? I, I, if he's not in a, a five-man hell match or something like that, he, he'll, be, uh, he'll, be, he'll be watching the show, so he might call in. Oh, yeah, he's a fan. I think I just heard no, him. He, you know, oh, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much. I think I think you and Stone Cold that'd be a pretty even match. You might uh you know some thing. Tell some things. Yes, that's right. You you you're sipping on that uh, Kentucky bourbon? <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, and I'm thinking about whooping that little what uh, he call himself the Texas rattlesnake. That ain't nothing but a little worm. Oh, oh. whoa. Well, you, yeah, you just call. Uh, he's got to call in at this he's point. He's got to call. If he now. doesn't call in, then uh, you it's know, like that's like that's a game over. Right. You, you might as well just put him in the deer stand. <laughs> oh, that's right. Now I'm issuing. Uh, I'm issuing the official challenge right now on his terms. You okay. tell me when. You tell me where. You tell me how. All right. Well, Whoa. we're gonna at least get to pass this on to him yep. and uh, have something for next show. Have something lined up. Oh yeah, we're gonna tell Stone Cold. You don't worry. I actually can't wait right. to hear from him. And I guess the last thing I gotta say is, Jacob, stop standing up because, like I said, I can't hear half the show of them branches in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we'll have to keep keep him sitting down. It matches. Thanks for coming in, Flywheel. What? The, the mustard right. thing. Yeah, right. I'm getting back to my conductor. <laughs> okay. All right. What do you say, Jim? You gonna give us another one? Yeah. I, I wanted to ask you while you were um, fidgeting with your guitar to put you on the spot. Look at that. He's prepared immediately. Bam. I am going to go get more coffee and listen the whole way. Turn it up a little. <laughs> you can hear pretty good up there. Thanks for being so enamored. <laughs> All right, so let me see. Do a little something here. Y'all all still with me? Can I sing a song of love? Can I sing a song of gentle love? I love you! Because you see, this song is really, it's a love song for the ladies. But fellas, listen closely. You don't always have to love her hard. In fact, sometimes that's not right. Sometimes you gotta love sweet love And love and give her some smooches too And sometimes you've got to squeeze And sometimes you've got to say please But sometimes you've got to say Hey, I'm gonna love you softly I'm gonna love you gently I'm gonna love you Sweetly, I'm gonna love you completely. And then you say, Hey, I bought you flowers. And then you say, Oh, wait a minute, Sally. I think I got something in my teeth. Could you get it out for me? That's love and teamwork. What's your favorite trick? That's cool with me. It's not my favorite, but. What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll probably get it at Mel's, like in the middle of the night, drunk, after doing a show at Hefe's at 225 Wall Street, 7056, Lafayette, Louisiana. <laughs> but then I'm gonna love you completely, and then I'll love and love you discreetly, and then I'm gonna love you completely, but then.
I'm like, what just happened? Man, you got to give a musician his space. That's right. You got to give a musician. You got to respect that. You got to respect the space. The amp powered off. The amp powered off. All right. Thank well, the Lord. well, all right. Back. Woo. We got to settle back down from that. Uh, that we we nobody expected that <laughs> to happen. So uh, everybody, gather yourselves. Hey, Jim, why don't you come talk to all us? All right, man. Uh, me right now, but. <laughs> Let's get you this uh, microphone set up. There he is with his fresh coffee. Oh. You totally missed the ruckus. I did not, boy. I was jamming on the ruckus. Oh, okay. well, no. Did, did you see the... Uh, oh, the, the fight? The yeah. Stuff? Wait, no, wait. Did you still go, Carl? No, no. no but, uh, it, oh. man... Uh, he got, he he got mobbed him. Afro Man style on stage. <laughs> I took him out, <laughs> Afro He, he took him yeah. out. Yeah. He laid him out right there. Oh, the man, I can't wait to watch the replay. Yeah, um, it, was, it was intense. I, I didn't... I hope the replay's in slow-mo. I was like, what's happening here? <laughs> it can if you have your proper cox provided. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, that, slow That's a low Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, device. So what's been happening? What's uh, Or what's going to be happening? Dude, uh, I future? am so busy. When I was a kid... Like, I used to lie to people and tell them how much stuff I was doing, and now sometimes I kind of wish I was lying. <laughs> like, especially on days when you, you know, you're tired and you just want to give it up, but you got to put that face on and, and go do what you do to make money doing something you love. But uh, I was here, what, a month ago? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, playing drums with Holy Ghost yep. people. I love doing that. I've been doing that for about two years. I love writing music and playing music with those guys. Um, the lead singer in Pinkerton, a tribute to the music of Weezer. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> some of the Pinkerton guys are here, and we really we, we go as far as we can with that. You know, I uh, take on the persona of Rivers Jimbo. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I dress it up. I try and talk and sing like him, and you know, we we do the best we can to nail the parts and. Uh, it's a high dollar right there. Huh. So, uh, yeah, we're That's working out. That's pretty awesome. I, yeah. But, uh, like you know, I do that. my solo yes, stuff this. I'm playing with uh, Eugene Swank's Atomic Honky Woo! Tonk. We got a show March 6th at Hefe Saloon, 225 Wall Street, 70586. That's no, 7506. That's where it is. And uh, <laughs> then my biggest passion, which is kind of year-round, but basically around this time of year, is uh, my little girl has autism. She's going to be 11 March 1st. Uh, moderate autism she speaks in three to five word sentences uh, we perform together she's one of the happiest people I've ever met she still just needs a lot of help telling you how she feels mm -hmm. and uh, so I really feel for what y'all been going through and trying to spread the awareness and um, my thing is I have the rock and hope show and uh, I don't think hope is locked down to any particular cause we all need hope so uh, Anything that you and Steven ever want to do, don't hesitate to call. I could put it together in the smallest way, or we can just go big or go home. We can find out. We'll probably have fun. And if anybody finds out something new or finds out they can do something through us, then everybody's proud. Your mom's proud, and I'm building a legacy for my daughter. So at Hefe's on uh, March 28th, we're doing Cover Night for Autism, presented by The Rock and Hope Show. And uh, we've got uh, the other LA, Shotgun Lily, Jameson and the Bombbacks, Arn Maiden, a bluegrass tribute to the music of Iron Maiden. What? <laughs> uh, and Whoa, uh, mind blown. And then uh, Project Kitchen Band, Brother Jack, mm -hmm. and uh, a possible surprise, but it's cover night. Everybody's doing covers. So all these people cool. who play their original music all the time. They're taking time and effort to go learn music that they love and that we love and uh, have a good time for that night and raise some money for the Autism Society and for autism awareness. Tell and us again when it is. March 28th at okay. Hefe Saloon, 225 Wall Street, 70506. Will there cool. be a donation type thing? Yes, or? well actually uh, what I do for the uh, uh, Rockwood and Hope show is uh, it raises money to go to the ninth annual uh, Autism Society of Candy and a family fun walk for hope day. I said that wrong, but I said it. A family fun uh, day. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah. I have a team. We have Team Rock and Hope. And so uh, all the money that we raise that night immediately just goes into the bank 
into, uh, and then it's a donation, and you get to say that's what it is. And I put together a team of uh, other uh, musicians and people I know who live and are affected by the uh, autism spectrum. Kind of freaked me out. Oh, me he out. creeps me out. <laughs> 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 like, look at him. Look at him. Look at him go. Uh, but you know, uh, you, you get creative and do everything that we do for those good causes. And uh, what's what's this uh, all day thing y'all were talking about? Yeah, that's uh, uh, June twenty first. Uh, yes, uh, the all summer solstice, solstice, the longest, longest day of the, day of the year. year. Well, I mean, I'm thinking that at Hefe's saloon, at least Mitch Hefe Briggs and I could possibly drink. Drink for, drink for an hour or whatever. Okay. No, yeah, drink an hour. Yeah. An hour. We drink all day. trying to raise awareness. But you have to drink professionally for an hour. Like all right, you have so to, you'll be there? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Is, there. is it Ramadan? No. Is it Lent? No. I will be there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Some, some a, a part of our team could ride our bikes Dude. there and be part of your team. Yes. We could cross team. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and it'll be like cross training except without the training. Or, yeah. And the montage. <laughs> yeah. Can we just do a montage? You know, I want a montage, montage is worthy of, of a it. montage of us getting ready. We for should this. do an hour-long montage. That would be like three years of time. <laughs> you know, the quick little chip, 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 chip. Yeah. yeah the, and then the workout usually montage. Games, the time, it usually you know. encompasses about a month. You know, like Rocky's montage. Yep. That was about a month of yeah, time. Yeah, but you got to have that little fat kid that outran him, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little kid just like just leaves him in his dust. And just... <laughs> so, uh, I had a tiger. I want to go watch your Rocky. <laughs> we should watch it on the big screen at the house. We should watch it on the public access station and y'all watch us watching it. Like uh, MST3K style? Except not as funny, and you don't get to see the movie. You know, I want to oh, get sure. together with the <laughs> sports entertainment this week, guys, and do Dude, mystery come. science theater style to each pay-per-view that comes out. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, Marco, but you could probably like, pay the WW or whatever. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> I don't know. You can put stuff on YouTube. Yeah, if if you're commenting on it, if you're. Yeah. You know, all we got to do is just do like two little silhouette silhouette figurines and put it in front of a TV, and then we all just. Stand I imagine if you showed up talk. Wednesday to talk with these guys, they would. The, the, they would well, be when Mark it. started that show, I wanted to do Big Daddy Jim's uh, this week in wrestling, but I just didn't have time to research. Yeah, man. You know, that's a legend. Stuff. That's a legendary show. I saw. That's I true. saw. Uh, I don't know. I think it was a rerun, and he had done the brother love thing. Like he painted himself yes, red, red, like Brother Love, but he didn't have the suit. He just had a white shirt on top of another shirt. It wasn't a white suit, but the face was just like, and it looked like a mix between Sting, Brother Love, and Mark. <laughs> and I love Mark. Uh, Mark, uh, I met through uh, Autism Society, oh, okay. and he's, he's closely associated with those mm -hmm. guys too. So shout out to Mark. Well, thank you for coming on tonight. Thank y'all for having me. Uh, Shout out to Jim Noble. Look, I'm going to try not to take song. anybody out for the rest of well, the Well, as show. long as they don't in, get in your space. space. I want space. some. I mean, I got to say, Afro Stay Man said that he is used to doing late shows, and it was Mardi Gras, and he hadn't eaten, and he hadn't medicated, <laughs> and he had to walk two and a half miles to the show, and it was an early show, and it was Mardi Gras, and he was tired. Sounds like a valid reason to clock somebody for coming up and. Uh, and I would be you. clocking people for two and a half miles. <laughs> you know I agree because uh, did you see how it's big that dude was? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I know you want up on this, but you know. Right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank oh, you for coming. Take on. him out. Take him out. Oh, here we go. All right, we're, and uh, we're gonna get him to play us a song at the end of the show and. Play us out. Look at that beautiful campfire. Yeah, let's just. Oh, oh okay. I guess we'll go back to us. Well, you remember I showed the picture earlier of the. Uh, of the command post tent. I do remember. Last night, we uh, ended up cooking, I cooked uh, duck and sausage gravy. In hey, we got a call. Go ahead, call you live. Hey, Jacob. Hey, what's up, Mike? Just an idea. Once you put the address and all that stuff on Facebook, off the wall and all that stuff, so they join that, that uh, fundraise for autism. Hey, good idea. We yeah. will. We'll, we'll, we'll make a post. Uh-huh. And, uh, and keep your eyes peeled for a black cat if you're near Cité des Arts. Olive. Named Olive. 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 Ooh, black, black olives. Mm. <laughs> I like those Castle Vetrano olives. Have you had those? It's like green looking, 
but kind of tastes more like a black olive. Mm, no, I'd like to share some though. If you yeah, I'll bring some next chef. Um, oh, sorry, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what else you got? Hey, Mike, and we're gonna call you after the show. All right. Yeah. So expect to call about six o'clock. All okay. right. Just pass on by. Let me let you guys read yourself because it's hard for me to read it. Oh, I hear you, man. <clears throat> it ripped me apart once. And, and this is something you wrote? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, well, hey, well, thanks for calling in, and we'll talk to you uh, in, uh, shortly. All right. All right. Well, okay, buddy. Uh, do we uh, have the facility for uh, Dr. Fu right now? Oh, we got it. We, we got, got a facility. I, I, know he's, uh, I know he's in uh, Studio F minor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know, the, uh, I think horns in America, car horns, are in this freaky key, like F-sharp or something, because have you ever heard... I, th I, th I thought it was E. All the car horns suck. Oh, uh, they, they, they all just make you F angry. Why can't okay, it be yeah. like an A? You know, boo, give me that. Not, ah! I think it's because it's supposed to be... Irritated. Um, I'm sorry, but then that leads to deaths. Why? Because you saw me the other day in traffic, dude. Yeah, that was... I get mad in traffic. Yeah, he, he, he definitely... See my, see my smiling face right now? Hope that it stays there. He was not <laughs> smiling in traffic the other day. No, but honestly, that dude was a gentleman, and uh, and I'm glad that we uh, it it was uh, it could have turned out worse. Let's put it that way. Harold, Harold, uh, oh, hey, Doctor Fu, you're here. Harold, you foolish. I've seen man. you in traffic. You seem very calm. You must be a Taoist. I do not drive a foolish. Oh, you don't drive foolishly. Okay. No. Why not? Because it's not smart. That's true. I drive a very very well. I have a smart car. Oh, no kidding. It's a small car. Yeah, <laughs> small and smart, like you. Yes. You know, I was uh, thinking about uh, becoming a vegetarian. Come on. But then I thought, that would uh, be a missed steak. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's That's a good. very good joke. We give you that. So, I tell you. <laughs> You're looking very nice. You, you, you're cracking yourself up yourself. The, the pants. Hey, thanks. Yeah, you want to uh, you you see them? You have a very bright pants. Well, uh, I'm a bright guy. Yes. Well, <laughs> the scarecrow says that the job, not for everyone, but hey, it's in his jeans. <laughs> yes. That's pretty good. So... <laughs> I recently Claudia re likes it. Recently rook it up. Okay. I mean, I mean think of it. <laughs> recently think of it. <laughs> oh, wait. I totally lost my train of thought. Let me find it. You hit refresh. <laughs> Let me find it. Hold on. Oh, my so, <laughs> two antennas meet on a roof. Very rough, got married. The ceremony wasn't much, but the reception, pound is all excellent. <laughs> what? Excellent, the reception. And tennis. My ears are bleeding. <laughs> and tennis. You should have saved the, the second one for a lot. That seems to be the theme. That second one's not bad. Have maybe. you, have you ever, <laughs> sorry to cut you off. I'm on a limited time schedule. Okay. <laughs> so, if you ever have a Tex-Mex emergency, you call a 911. Oh. I'm out. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Fu. That was Dr. Fu's little now. We'll yeah. quickly oh, read a Dow verse to uh, balance the scales. No. Reincarnation-wise. Wait, does that balance anything? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know. I haven't died yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll holla. I'll call in. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Wait, I can't do this if you die. Ooh, did I don't have a key. see the ads Ooh. for that new movie? I went to go see Kingsman, which was pretty hilarious. And they had these ads for this, like, this girl gets bullied, kills herself. A year later, on, like, the anniversary of her death, the people are, like, on... It's, like, all FaceTime movie, dude. It looks like the new kind of... Looks like it might be a good horror flick. Hmm. Oh. Kind of a new horror genre. I, I love horror flicks. Oh, okay, anyway, so... Horror, I said. Okay. 
all things. Okay, this is chapter 51. We're, we're like 30 away from the end. So uh, for another year still, we're going to be reading the Tao. Okay, all things come from the Tao, nourished by its outpouring. With matter they take shape, with use perfects them. Therefore all things without exception honor the Tao, not by law but by being. Thus it is the Tao that nourishes all things, brings them to growth, matures them, maintains them, multiplies and spreads them. Yet it shapes without force, without control. This is its mystery in operation. Huh? Yeah, duh, heard around the world right there. Duh, heard around yeah. the world. <laughs> who, who doesn't know that? <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. That's, uh, anyway. That's good stuff. Um, we, uh, speaking of good stuff, I'm going to state this as a fact. Rafino's, we went there, pretty darn good. Where is that now? Uh, on the river. Oh, it's the Wakushan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kosha. I love that. Um, I guess the area, you know, on the Vermilion. Yeah, the, the we didn't sit on, this was uh, Valentine's Day so last Saturday. That was, it's a little pricey though, right? It looks like it's going to have to be. A little bit. That, yeah, they got to pay their, their well, lease. That, that particular day uh, was like a set um, menu and, and, and uh, basically like more of an admission fee. You paid an X amount oh, uh, per what? person. That's cool. And you got cert set courses. You could walk in there and just get uh, a uh, an entree and maybe a, a single appetizer to share between the two and a couple of drinks and it wouldn't be so expensive. This particular time, everybody got an appetizer. Everybody got uh, yeah. You know, whoever paid. Super salad. Yeah, soup. Uh, it was an appetizer, super salad. Man, not a super salad, but a super salad. In New Orleans. And then, uh, then the entree. It, my entree was uh, cedar plank redfish. What? Yeah, it was I good. Like and <laughs> uh, Claudia got a, uh, 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 a filet that was, you know. You know, people, people say that you know, it cut like butter. Seriously, it just you just mash it, and it would just cut. Oh, it was man, so good. Hungry. Well, thanks a lot, Coretta, our underwriter. That's right, yeah. Uh, and we're talking about right I'm getting hungry. I'm thinking actually, what's uh, your next, uh, next show is going to be our uh, La Coretta. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you to La Coretta for underwriting our, our show. We love you, La Coretta. That's a fact. And... Um, so, oh, I think we actually have a picture of the... Uh, oh, is that is there a picture on the outer level of that... Uh, oh, and then we've only got about uh, three, four minutes, so then we'll, uh, Jim okay. Noble's going to play us out. I'll, I'll, let's show that picture, and then uh, he can take off and finish okay. it off. That, that, at, oh, that picture. At Rafino's. Whoa, they give you cotton candy? Everybody. And this isn't a Valentine's Day Are those thing. edible Everybody. flowers? No. Chocolate-covered strawberry. Yeah, chocolate-covered. Gigantic. We saw a squirrel eating azalea flowers today. The, awesome. These strawberries so were like cool. the size of a, a, a baby's fist. I mean, they were like huge. <laughs> and uh, they were... <laughs> they were oh man, that's something in judge. We're all being reminded of a modest proposal. That's why we're all laughing. So anyway, everybody, everybody at Rafino's gets a uh, 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 cotton candy even now, not just for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, man. So it's a it's a really what? really cool. I know machine. how to use those machines. It took a lot of me getting sugar on me. Oh, blasted with yeah. <laughs> But so, hey, thanks for watching everyone at home. Thanks for uh, the few that are tuned in on the internet, which we're on now. You can get onto Ustream and after navigating to the search bar, which is technically impossible, <laughs> you just have to type in slash and but then. But it's easy. It's easy. You once can, you do that, yeah, then you find us. We're on the internet too. Thanks to Lacaretta. Thanks to AOC. Thanks to Paul. Thank you to Jim Nobles. Thanks, Jacob. You're welcome, Paul. You're very welcome. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to just...
guys. And uh, honestly, this is the PG-rated version of the Jim Noble Show. I mean, I can't perform with class, but I just tried to spread a little love. Does everybody feel the love? I mean, let me hear. I mean, we've dwindled down to about 10 of you now. So let me hear all 10 of you now. Do you feel loved? All right, well, the other two songs I played, I didn't write, but I wrote this one. I did not write the music. You might think I did, but I didn't. I know you recognize it. I didn't write this music, but I did write the lyrics. These are the deepest lyrics I have ever written in my life. 